Hello everybody, Tinakato, Tinakato, Tinakato Katoa. Here I am today in sunny Tauranga um, at this place called, um, well it used to be called Bay of Plenty Polytechnic but it's now called To Oho Mai Institute of Technology and this and I'm just just come here to Tauranga today to not only give you a great tour of the place but however talk to you about my past experience um, of when I've studied here 10 years ago but I won't go into too much detail of that however I'll just give you like a little uh, grand tour of the place so yeah so where I'm standing here is at just outside the information center and the center of it all and I'll just uh, just walk along this uh, corridor right down here yeah so yeah so this is the polytech I used to study back 19 odd years ago and I studied um, my diploma in travel management well I started my certificate in travel level 3 here so that was when I wanted to do something that you know, I've always wanted to do however I did do a hotel management school in New Plymouth a year before that but then dropped out because I thought it didn't really agree to me as much so <laughs> Here's the international office there, and yep. so as you walk down along here is the library. So everything's all closed because it's yeah Christmas period. <laughs> yep, and yeah, I'll um, just walk straight down along these steps down here. So I'm gonna put away. Yep, so just down the stairs. So. Inside here, you've got the uh, break time um, cafe along down here, and sorry, I think it's just a little bit dark. And, and here is the study student study column where common where people can go inside and do their studies. Yep, so it's called Oko Atea. Sorry, I can't pronounce Maori as good, but <laughs> I'm learning though. But you know. It's, experience of there's my car there <laughs> just parked right outside the Mahara area so that's another polytech block so just across the road down here so where I'm standing right now is the main campus of Taurong, Tauranga so it's the Windermere campus map here but yeah so as I said to, to yeah, Toi Oho Mai, that's the new name of the Polytech, but when I studied back back then, back 10 years ago, it used to be called Bay of Plenty Polytech, but I'll still call it that, you know, no matter how many names they will change it, because that was what it was called back then when I used to study here. Then I'll just, uh, it's a little sunny here in Tauranga today, but a little windy as well, but I'll try and speak as loud as I can. Yeah, so I'll just uh, yeah, walk along this, yeah, this, this path right here. And yeah, just uh, around the corner is where I used to live. And you know, it's really nice and handy just to get to campus. And this here is the bus stop. This is where all the students will come out for a cigarette break. And this is where everyone just waits for their bus to go home to the city etc and when it comes the bay hopper bus just going past us oh, he's looking at us he's filming us <laughs> wearing his funny little santa hat <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep so yeah anyways now that i've given you all a little uh took a tour of the whole campus and also, and also um, what it's all about and everything. I just thought, yeah, I'd come down to Tauranga today um, yeah, just to tell you about my, well, 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 before I get to that, I'd just like to say, you know, it's in a very honest sort of way, well, the traffic is not passing through us at the moment, is, Oh, it's very, it's becoming warm now. <laughs> Birds are chirping at us. <laughs> I'll just come right here. Yeah, so 
it's really hard to describe, really, you know, with what comes in reality and what you always, what, you know, what you expect in reality. Also, when it comes to, also when it comes to, you know, wanting to start somewhere, if you want to make a bit of yourself or if you want to, you know, go out and achieve something out in the world and, you know, you always, you, you, you know, you always um, think about the past life and then you want to try and make, you know, good life for the better and, you know, also, also another thing is that you need to keep in control of the mind and, 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 and keep control of the mind and where, and whereas for me and, but then, but then what my mind sets off to is, you know, it takes me to a whirlpool of like endless scenarios where there's always like good things coming my way. However, there's always the bad, you know, trying to come across me. And then when the, and then while the bad things happen, you try to fight it. And then, you know, to prevent it from happening, you'd try and, you know, say it not in, not in a way where you're like, really angry but trying to you know assert yourself as then in a way that you're not making yourself look like a complete pushover and an absolute fool however at the same time you want to remain just being yourself living the happiest of life and yeah that's basically that's something I'd yeah I want to be talking to you all about so just coming back here and yep <laughs> over there just coming back from the beach um yep that's <laughs> what i give out a wave to these people over there <laughs> i always end up think oh what's this guy doing here <laughs> quite a bit of a dog though but he seems very calm and collective <laughs> and they built a new tennis court just right over there I've just got to that corridor over there because I think, oh, look at this, got more shade and everything. And this is also like the pathway where you go to your classrooms when you come study at the Polytech. But yeah, <laughs> so I'll get myself out of the sun right now, as sometimes, you know, when you when it feels too hot, it's, it's very hard to talk to, uh, hard to talk. So there's a little park right here. if anyone else is coming uh yep so this is the health center the little five prayer room right here i didn't know they had a prayer room but they've made somehow they've made this polytech a little bit more diverse than what it used to be when i came here and studied here 10 years ago but anyways i'll just uh cut to the chase and yeah tell you about my past experience so yeah, when I came and studied here 10 years ago, yeah, I thought it was all going to go a lot better than what it used to be in my high school days, as I never used to fit in with everybody. However, I did make a couple of friends here. I made this one friend, I'm not going to mention names, sorry, but yeah, he was a good person, you know, we got along really well, but then However, six months later, when we got to our second year, when we were doing our diploma, we met up with this other friend and yeah, all of a sudden it didn't go as well as I thought it would be. So yeah, they ended up using me and they took my ass for granted. And it all started when, yeah, you know, when I went to Astrolab with them and and then they'd want me to shout them drinks and everything and they'd always promised me they'd pay me back but however it never happened and then also um they wanted me to throw a party at my flat and everything but then I kind of thought oh I mean that's my rules I can do whatever I want but then they got mad at me and then uh, then stupidly I listened to them and I threw a party because they said I was going to be just a chill party and everything but then it didn't go so well I mean we had fun at the first night but then the second night and then the next day my flatmates weren't too pleased with me about it so 
yeah and then as this all carried on they just kept yeah just using me and taking me for granted like an animal and everything and yeah every time i'd say no and everything you know they'd just go completely off at me thinking i'm just being an antisocial asshole and everything and that's not always the case you know i need to you know give myself a bit of space from everybody and in every other way and it's not a slight against them in any way and as such but you know all of a sudden they just didn't really give a rat's ass about my needs or anything and they just like completely used me and just chucked me under the bus but then however I just had to you know face, face the consequences and then just yeah it's a really hard story to talk about folks and I'm just sitting on this chat again because yeah sorry it's just it's a very daunting story you know to tell you all this and everything and yeah it's you know definitely something I wouldn't wish on anyone and everything and I sometimes regret it and everything I wish I you know handled it a little bit better I wish I wasn't afraid to say no back then even though they've you know didn't like it in a way and everything but I mean I was young and stupid anyways so I mean it is what it is but then luckily for me I graduated with a diploma and everything but however that didn't always cheer me up I suffered from depression and yeah and I found it really hard trusting a lot of people and I couldn't even trust myself <laughs> for all the tea in China so yeah, it was really hard to, you know, communicate with, I mean, I can communicate with people well, but it was really hard to, you know, maintain friendships, you know, trust people and, you know, see what their personal life is, etc, etc. But, yeah, it was, yeah, it just shunned me from, you know, society and everything. And, yeah, and you, you know, you'd think, you know, as you get out of high school and everything you'd think everything would be totally different to what it was back in those days but but then as you get to that stage you think oh there's always all these barriers that you have to sometimes fight but yeah oh yeah so this is uh rex building i think yeah rex williams center it's still called there's a cool little design there and more shade <laughs> it's summertime folks <laughs> But I am assertive. I'm really a strong person now, you know. I don't take shit from anybody, you know. I, you know, if someone, but, but, but however, I do, I am a little naive, you know, when it comes to knowing about the first subject. But then when I know when it's not right and everything, I usually just give them a little finger and just tell them to back off, really. <laughs> but hey, you know, that's life, really. Sorry guys, I'm just being brave about it and everything and yeah when I yeah when I came to when I came here to Taronga today I did my heart was kind of chesting a little bit though because you know it's, it was my first time coming here in more than 10 years and sort of wanted to face my fate here really but I was brave about it but despite there was a lot of traffic coming along the way really but it wasn't too much though, I think it's like the Christmas period, so yeah, but I made it though, so it wasn't too bad. <laughs> and here's some people along here, there's people having a little picnic. <laughs> I guess I'll just keep going. I'll just keep going to this place, I think around here it's, there's like a bridge just along the corner there. Oh, looks like the rain's about to come to us. <sighs> So, yeah, there's the atrium over there. I think that's where one of my classes used to be at. Yeah, so atrium, there used to be like a restaurant. I think that's where people are trained to do, go to restaurant schools and that, but yeah, anyways. That was my life here at the Bay, at the Bay of Plenty Polytechnic here, guys. Like, just wasn't what it used to be and everything. I mean, it's a good, it's a good adult learning facility to study, but yeah, sometimes there's always, you know, bumps on the road and everything, and yeah, and sometimes, you know, you, you know, you sometimes think, oh, everything's gonna, 
you know, turn out great and everything, but sometimes that's not always the case. But anyways, you know, as I've, you know, grown stronger and I've got older, I've realized that, you know, life is too short to worry about these things. It's always best to, you know, just let go of the past and focus on the future. And I've done, I've done really well. I've, you know, I've worked full time for the last few years and I've saved up and I went over to the UK and lived there for two years and I did a bit of traveling across Europe and I've met so many amazing, interesting people. And, and that's one of the memories I've always, I'd, I'd always hold on to and I'd always be proud of because, you know, traveling, you know, it's my drug and and that's you know something I've always wanted to do and that's what kept me going you know as a person you know if I wasn't traveling right now I'd be you know sitting on my ass regretting what I've done you know for the rest of my life here coming to Bay Plenty Polytechnic but yeah so I'm just yeah crossing the uh, bridge right here so it's funny because sometimes it reminds me of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco even though I've never been there before. I've been to New York though but yeah I'd love to go to it one day. I'll just I won't cross the whole bridge I'll just like see if it's still bouncy. <laughs> and there's the river. Oh, that's very bouncy isn't it? <laughs> Feel the movement already. Coming up my feet, eh? <laughs> just listen to the crickets go by, eh? Just listen to nature, you know, just chatting to you away. It's like being away from everyday life. You know, they don't say words. Oh, this person coming. Ask me to jog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, they made the bridge bounce a little more. <laughs> now he's walking. <laughs> I'll just make my way back. <laughs> sure. Yeah, so, anyways, yeah, this is why I came here out to the Polytech here today to tell you all about. And I, I did, and throughout my travels, I did write, yeah, throughout my travels, you know, while, you know, I was succeeding that goal, I thought I'd write a little journal about what's, you know, happened to me here while studying here at the Polytech, and, and yeah, also, as you read it, it can be a little bit powerful and pretty confronting and a bit of vulgar language coming from me, <laughs> which... You know, I know, don't normally say, but I just say those things because, you know, I was angry at mostly myself about what's happened and everything. And I know I tend to hold grudges about it, but then, you know, but then sometimes at the end of the day, you sort of think, yeah, everybody's not perfect. You know, we all have problems and everything. And, you know, it's, you know, but then at the same time, you sort of think, how do people live like that? You know, it's like, how do you, go around you know using people just because you don't have you know a good life as everyone else really like I know a lot of people you know in the past that had really terrible childhoods and everything but as they grow older they become you know very either become very successful or they made something of themselves and you know without relying on people and trying to get others to feel sorry for them just because their life isn't as good as theirs however they try and make their lives feel like shit and everything and and this is something what these so-called friends have done to me you know their lives weren't you know as perfect as you know how they grew up and then they decide to give that all to me and everything and I sort of think what have I done to deserve that you know it's like what the fuck really <laughs> However, 
it's not only the bad memories I've had here in the past folks um, I've met a few people here um, even I flirted with one person he he wasn't like a t complete egg with me though but he used to abuse his girlfriend a lot and also he went out to a party and he thought they were having an affair and then all of a sudden he wanted to stab that person with a knife and everything and he did it in front of everybody at the party and I kind of thought wow that's very strong how can how does one do that and then also I met up with and then this one person that was in my class you know she was having problems with her relationship and everything and that she was shunned out of her family's home and everything and I kind of thought to me that was it's very sad deep down and everything and yeah I've met a lot of people who haven't had the best lives so far and everything however is it an excuse for them to you know take advantage of a person like me who's trying to you know come here to study and make a better of himself you know what I mean <laughs> And then they just come and throw it all back at your face. It's just, it just doesn't make sense really. It's like, how can you live with yourself like that, you know? It's not, make yourself as a proper human. You know what I mean? <laughs> Anyways, well, never mind my, my past and everything, but as soon as I came back from the UK amidst the pandemic and everything, I thought I'd get back into my study mode as of, you know, go into an adult you know enough for me to you know complete a degree a bachelor's so I did a three-year course at uh, AUT studying Bachelor of Travel Management however I'm participating in a few business papers so I've just completed one paper over November over the past few weeks and I've well, I haven't got the grade yet, but my tutor told me that I've passed because I'm starting my new job in 9th of January, which is not too far away. So, perfect start to the new year, even though this year has not been the very best due to online learning and um, the convoy right wing taking over, etc, etc. However, this year has, you know, turned out very good at the end and I'm very grateful that this has happened to me and I always think to myself you know bad things will happen to everybody but always know that in future something beautiful and positive will always come to you no matter what all you just have to do is just sit back and think positive try hard work as hard as you can and then you will be sweet there will always be bumps on the road you always meet good people you always meet bad people but at the end of the day it's always good to focus on your true self and that's what appreciates me as a human and also that's how it improves everybody's mental health my mental health and yeah that's something I'm I'm always I'd always you know take with me even I'll pack it in my suitcase for suitcase if I need to travel again now that the border is open. <laughs> now that travel's back in business. So, yes. Uh, yep, so, yeah, this is why I came up, 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 up to Tauranga to talk to you all about. I think I've said it again <laughs> a few times already, but yeah, that's. I wanted to say really. Yep, so, yep, so this is the health centre. This is the, I think I've shown it to you again, but I think I'll show you uh, one of the places I used to live at though. It's like not too far away from here, but I think we're almost there. It's somewhere along this area. It's very familiar to me. They've changed quite a lot. They've painted around the Polytech a little bit, which is pretty nice. It's pretty cool and everything. Oh yeah, they have a postgraduate centre right here. It's very cool. Oh yes. Yeah, so. These are one of the 
text that I used to study in, that I used to um, live in, because like my house is just, you know, just a block away, but yep, so this is uh, where I used to live at, folks. This is house right there. I won't show you much of it though, otherwise then um, I'm kind of trespassing, you know what I mean? <laughs> just walk back here. Yeah. Oh, looks like the rain is threatening to come to us. <laughs> Yeah, so I know this year I've been a little bit vocal about, you know, you know, right wing issues and, you know, transgender, you know, tra you know, people having problems with transgender people and everything is, you may have seen on some videos and everything, but make sure you check them out if you really want to, you don't have to, but if you want to subscribe, my um, YouTube channel is called Jason Kali Power, so it's um, Kali Mata, it's a uh, powerful Hindu god. So I use that because, you know, it, um, it re re represents, it's not, it doesn't represent my faith, it helps me to become a strong, powerful person when it comes to trolls and people trying to abuse you over nothing. <laughs> yeah, so this is the marketing area. I think this is where the folks used to be at. I think the people that I was waving to while I was making the video. So, this is the rest of the polytech right here. Well, it hasn't changed much, but only just a few bits and pieces, though. Yeah, hmm. yeah so anyways, um, I'll uh, conclude this video here. But before I do, um, I do want to um, give out a quick message to everyone that... Um, to, to everybody that um, who are starting university, who are starting Polytech, especially around here. Make sure you um, um, have fun, study hard, live the life that you want to, and also don't make the same mistake as what I made, you know, and, you know, you know, because if you do, you know, you'll probably start living with regrets and everything like me and everything, and that's Definitely something I wouldn't wish on the next person and everything because at the end of the day we all deserve to live a, to live the best life possible in any way and yeah so remember if someone tries to take advantage of you and you know if they want to you try and humiliate you in any sort of way just learn to say no and everything you don't have to get like too aggressive with them or anything just be assertive you know just you know just show that you just don't want to do it, you just want to do it later, blah, blah, blah. But it's always good to focus on your true self, your own mental health, and your own goals and future. Because at the end of the day, that's how you get through into life, folks. So I'll just uh, do this video. I'm going around here. So thank you, thank you very, very much for taking the time to watch this video and um and, and and taking this video and seeing what the polytech is all about and my experience um with what happened to me 10 years ago i hope it doesn't sound too confronting to you but it's also like a learning experience you know especially when it comes to meeting new people and also wanting to make new friends however you'll always meet good people you always meet with bad people but then just at the end of the day you just don't want to get involved in their private life and everything because trust me folks at the end of the day it's something that you don't want to be a part of yeah so so this is my car right here i'll um best be driving somewhere else I've already had lunch already so i might I'll grab like an ice cream or something but yeah so like 29 minutes into the video i want to try and make it 30 minutes so yeah so remember to yeah stay safe always be yourself and if you ever feel you want to you know comment or anything please you know comment below and subscribe if you really want to and yeah i will um i will update you on what i'm doing next and i will see you all very soon take care over and out